My name is David Evans. I'm a vertebrate paleontologist at the Royal Ontario Museum. I've always been interested in dinosaurs ever since I can remember, ever since I was a kid. Um, one thing that I, I do remember actually making a big impression on me was seeing real dinosaur skeletons for the first time at the Royal Ontario Museum. Ever since that point in time, I was always very interested in dinosaurs and the history of life and uh, evolution. I was sort of your classic dinosaur kid. So I chose to study dinosaurs in Toronto because there's a very good program here and a history of the University of Toronto producing very good paleontologists, but also the ROM is here and it has a great collection of dinosaurs from the late Cretaceous, particularly duck-billed dinosaurs, and that's my sort of field of expertise. It all started back when the galleries were being redone, and our old dinosaur gallery was a hit, but it was starting to get very tired and it, it needed an upgrade. So the Michael Leachin Crystal expansion at the museum sort of afforded us the opportunity to completely redo our dinosaur galleries. We have your classic um, sort of pantheon of dinosaur gods. We have Stegosaurus, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it sort of became very apparent um, about six months or so towards the opening that we still haven't gotten a show-stopping piece. And what would really have made the gallery special was getting one of these giant, long-necked, long-tailed dinosaurs called sauropods. So I was tasked by the museum to find one. I was studying sauropods. I was trying to get a better idea of what type we might be able to dig out of the ground. And I came across this really obscure reference in a newly published paper that said we had a sauropod skeleton at the ROM. And this was a huge surprise to me. And uh, I actually was flying out to Wyoming to look at a, a skeleton in the ground when I read this reference and I just wanted to fly back to the ROM right away and uh, root through the collections and see just what this paper was referring to. So when I got back to the museum I made a beeline for the collections and started looking at these old sauropod bones that we knew that they were in the collection, but we thought they were all just isolated bones. And I started pulling bones out of drawers and pulling bones off of shelves and looking under tarps. And I was pulling out parts of bones and they're fitting together like puzzle pieces and every new bone that I was able to put together, it was kind of a new rush because it meant the skeleton was that much more complete. We found out that you know all these things that we thought were just sort of random, isolated bones from many different sauropods, uh, actually turned out to be all from one individual skeleton called Barosaurus. And so at the end of the day, we had the second most complete skeleton of one of the rarest types of sauropod dinosaurs right here under our noses the whole time. And, you know, we're used to finding fossils in the field, but to come up with something so important in a collection is something that's, that's pretty special. So it was definitely one of those very memorable days in my career.